You know, and, and I'm, one other thing we want to talk about processes and really we talked about this before, Brian, these three P's, they really sort of, they blend together. There's no way you can separate one from the other, you know? Right. Right. Uh, so in essence, now we're into process and in order to have multiple stores that you had across mm-hmm. many states, you better have a process and Absolutely. the people are willing to follow the process, right? hundred percent, Gary. Um, and now if you have that one store, what we hear from so many people, Brian, mm-hmm. is that, man, you know, I want to own it, but I don't want to be tied to it every day. Right. So the same processes that ran those multiple locations would run that business. So the owner could actually own the business instead of the business own them. You know, so, and you're right. Uh, having processes and systems in place is mission critical. But you know, what I found out is that's only half the battle. You know, you ooh. can do a great job of writing SOPs, getting them out to your people, having a process and a, a procedure and a system for everything all the way down to making coffee in the morning, right? And how we close mm-hmm. the shop and how we present repair work, how we answer the phones and all of those are great. But what separates an average manager to be different between a great manager is follow-up inspecting mm-hmm. what you expect. And so that's something that, uh, that I stayed focused on. You know, we, for example, you talk about processes, we use what's called a workflow board and this is how we would manage our workflow. And it would just uh, ensure that, uh, you know, who's the, t- who's on the ticket on the, as an advisor, uh, customer's name, you know, are we doing things such as collecting email addresses? If that's something that, you know, was important at the time, which for us it was, cause we would use that course as marketing, um, the year make model of the vehicle, what the concern was the customer mm-hmm. brought it in for. There's indicators that the parts have been ordered and from where, when, when they've arrived. Uh, you know, we focused on a full system isolate. Uh, we wanted to do a maintenance inspection on 100% of the vehicles. Uh, we would track oh. hours uh, and we would track our sales with the idea being, you know, that the, the maintenance inspection portions of our sales were greater than basically the isolation, which is, you know, what the customer came in, came in for. And so we use this workflow board, uh, in effort to run our shop. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is a great tool, but then the follow-up, right? So that would allow me mm-hmm. now because, you know, I had locations in Atlanta, locations in Denver, and I can't be at two places at one time. Or even if I spent a full day um, at every location, every day we're open, I wouldn't have enough, be able to stretch myself thin enough to be at every location. And so what I had to do was follow up, right? And so in regards to the board, you know, I could look at our our board from a certain day's business. Maybe it was a week ago. And then all Mm -hmm. of the invoices would be inside of there. And so I could go through ticket by ticket along with the store manager and we could uh, do what we call a bag audit and we would go yeah. through and we would look for opportunity, um, opportunity that may have been missed. We're looking for proper documentation. We're looking to ensure, uh, that we're doing maintenance inspections on every vehicle that we're selling our isolates in a full system process that we're utilizing scripts, um, and that we're, you know, our margins are where they need to be. And so, again, these are all these little things, yeah. but when you put them all together, you get some, like I said, some some pretty massive results. And so, I think that's another key thing, Gary, is not just having processes and systems, but how do you go about ensuring that they're taking place? You know, you have to, to yeah. you got to, yeah, you got to celebrate the wins. Um, you if, you, if somebody's doing a great job every day, but it doesn't get recognized, eh, you know. Why keep doing it as much, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or you're going to catch opportunities that someone may not be aware of. And then that becomes your fault because you didn't teach and train on that topic that could have helped, you know, take that shop or, or that location maybe to the next level. 